Okay, you guys, this is our little next YouTube video. Want to wish all you mothers out there a very happy Mother's Day. Uh, mine too. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. <laughs> um, this little video is about a tabletop tripod. There's so many choices out there. I guess you have to decide what you want to use it for. Um, I don't do any type of vlogging. I just make simple YouTube videos. Most repair videos and not some photography videos. Um, also, I might want to use my new iPhone 6, uh, which is new to me. <laughs> uh, not new uh, out. Um, uh, to make YouTube videos uh, when I'm talking about my Fuji X uh, equipment. Um, I'm just bought into recently. And this is the tripod I decided on. I haven't seen any real reviews on it. I only seen one YouTube video on it. So this will probably be the second one going up. It's extremely sturdy. And many people will get turned off by the weight. I don't intend to use it for vlogging. I, I believe I stated I don't vlog. Um, so I don't need a lightweight that I'm going to use as a mount. I'm going to hold as a mount. Okay, I need something that can hold my X-H1. Uh, whatever lenses I want to put on there. This can hold. It's rated up to 11 pounds. I think most tripods are overrated. Uh, by that, I mean you should probably consider not putting more than nine pounds on there on this little tripod. When the tripod is rated, whatever it is, five pounds, it should probably be four pounds. You don't put more than four pounds on there. Suggest it anyway, okay? I've used so many different types of tripods, so let's open the box, get into it. Came with an Allen key and a little, uh, maybe guide or something, manual. I didn't, it's not in here right now. There's nothing else in the box, so I can get rid of that. Um, okay, with this nice case, I like the case. Um, has a belt strap, so you can carry it. It's rated at two pounds, which most people would say that's a little too heavy, Vic. <laughs> I'm not worried about. It. Um, again, I'm not using it for vlogging. I'm using it as an actual tripod, so I want the versatility that I'm looking at here. I didn't actually see this tripod at first. I just kept looking around, looking around, seeing too much of the same stuff. Too many of the same videos. I just, I just look at everything. And after I looked at everything, this one popped up on B&H. Uh, $65. Okay, delivered to, to me here uh, in the States of Virginia. Okay. Bag is nice. It has some material to it, uh, both inside and out. It is not just a cheap cover. It probably holds up pretty good. Okay. And I did discuss it did have a... Uh, did have a uh, Allen key that came with it, which is this little one here, and a little plastic pouch with a <laughs> somewhere with a information on the tripod. It's very s kind of self-explanatory, so you probably shouldn't have very many problems with this. This is inverted right now, so we're gonna put it in its correct position. You have three different levels here you can put it at, so that's nice. Okay. That's very nice, so she can go pretty low. Okay, if she has to. You got a uh, center column here that goes up and down. Nice also. I like the feel of the rubber on here. It feels like rubber. doesn't feel like uh, cheap plastic foam on all the legs. Nice stuff, what I'm seeing so far. Everything is aluminum here, including the other two legs are aluminum. I thought they might be plastic at first, but um, when I started to take a closer look, I could see it's anodized aluminum, and I left it uh, untouched for a while, and it, I could feel they were cold. So I know these are aluminum legs. There's nothing plastic here. Everything is actually aluminum, uh, metal bolts, the Allen key, you can tighten the the support here where it gets loose nice feature um the twists feel very nice uh, they look nice i'm kind of surprised for the money what i'm getting here sometimes you can get ball heads this good that are in this price range <laughs> uh, okay very nice uh what i'm seeing over here i hope you guys are seeing the same thing i'm seeing I'm hoping that uh, I'm in focus. I'm just using manual focus. Decent tension on panning here with this loose. I did actually unscrew it a couple times when it was tight, so gotta watch out for that. Okay. 
collar here is loose. That's not tight, but uh, this is nice. I noticed when I had the camera on, I could still kind of move it a little. Okay, so yeah, you can see you can still move it a little bit. Uh, so you kind of have to crank it down if you have more weight. Uh, you might have to crank it down. Aux Swiss type. Um, head. Ripple Leveler. Nice deal. Um, my Benro I'm filming on right now with the XH1. It's carbon fiber, about 350. Center aluminum column. This one is all aluminum. <coughs> it's pretty heavy at two pounds, but the versatility is really nice. And that's what I'm looking for. What can I actually use it for? Okay. Uh, I, my Benro is arc Swiss, and so is this one arc Swiss, so interchangeable. I also bought this guy from uh, B&A so I can mount my iPhone. Uh, 15 bucks for this one. So I can mount my iPhone in case I got to take a video with my iPhone and I'm shooting something else. Okay. What else to say? I don't know if you can remove this and remove the center column. And that will probably be the last thing. Except Happy Mother's Day again <laughs> to everyone. Okay, that came out pretty good. Um, okay. Let's see if that can go the other way. And it looks like it can. So if that's a need for you, you got it. <laughs> you guys can do uh, mount the camera upside down or mount the mount upside down, the head upside down, and then work with the ball head to get whatever configuration you might be looking for. All right, something to note. I know I'm going to enjoy this. I think you guys will enjoy this. If you can get over your head, that is two pounds. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.